The wind is frustrating, <laughs> but it is nice to have a little moisture in the air. It's yeah. a nice change. Even if it's not raining on you, you can yeah. tell, at least my face could tell, that there is a little <laughs> bit more that. humidity <laughs> yeah. in the air. It doesn't feel like it's going to crack and just fall off. Let's take a look at the weather headlines. What you need to know as we head into the weekend, a few showers out there this evening, mostly south of the Golden Gate. I'll show you those on the radar in just a second. Breezy and cool this weekend. Not as windy as it was this morning, but still a noticeable breeze. A few showers possible on Sunday. We'll also check that out on FutureCast in momentarily. North Bay frost possible next week. Some chilly nights, especially in those valleys of the North Bay. Well, that's something to be think about as we round the corner from the weekend into the next work week. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Very, very light shower activity on the high def Doppler at the moment. We'll zoom in for a closer look at these showers making their way from southern San Mateo County into Santa Clara County. This is light activity, so is the activity around Milpitas and down around San Jose. A few passing sprinkles, probably not going to result in much more than a trace of rainfall. We'll take what we can get, but it would be nice to see a little bit more than this. A few showers inland in the East Bay right now, especially around San Ramon down towards Dublin. That is moving off to the east, and there are a few sprinkles trying to show up around Berkeley, and same thing in parts of the city, but it's just going to be very hit or miss activity. A few sprinkles, you probably don't even need an umbrella. Just don't be shocked if you get a drop or two on the windshield if you're going to be driving out and about. There are some more showers offshore, but those are mostly on a path here, taking them down to the south. We're going to see a few more showers developing and then rolling inland as we head through the rest of this evening. Futurecast has a really good handle on where things are right now, and it does show another burst of showers, mainly for the South Bay as we head farther into this evening. But just after 1 o'clock, those are mostly shut down. We're going to see a mix of clouds and sunshine throughout the day on Saturday. Looks like a pretty nice day. It's just going to be still cool and still that noticeable breeze that'll make it feel even cooler. And as we head into Sunday, there's that chance for a few more showers. Most of the activity, like today, looks like it's going to stay offshore, but Futurecast does indicate at least a few passing showers once again for the South Bay. Temperatures a whole lot different, and the breeze is still rippling the flag here as we look out from a different camera on top of the Mark Hopkins Hotel. High temperatures only made it up into the 60s. San Francisco only made it up to 59 degrees, but 68 degrees for the warm spot in Fairfield. Yesterday, they were up to 89 degrees, so it's a 21 degree drop from where we were. And it's a similar story for current temperatures. Everybody's in the 50s right now. 50 degrees in Petaluma on the nose, 59 degrees is the warm spot right now in Oakland. Compare that to 24 hours ago, well, it's only two degrees cooler at Half Moon Bay just because of the Pacific influence. But farther inland, 20 to 25 degrees off of yesterday evening's pace which puts us much closer to where we're supposed to be in early November. Temperatures tonight drop down into the 40s, even some upper 30s in the valleys of the North Bay, but not quite cold enough tonight for any frost there. Temperatures will warm up tomorrow, but only up to about 5 to 10 degrees below average for this time of year, right around 60 degrees in most locations. Let's zoom around to take a closer look. Mid-50s right along the coast. Upper 50s and low 60s around the south end of the bay with mostly low 60s for the Santa Clara Valley. Also mostly low 60s as you head into the inland portions of the East Bay. The Tri-Valley right around 60 degrees with some low maybe mid 60s the farther inland you go. Upper 50s and low 60s right around the Central Bay with mostly low to mid 60s for the North Bay. And farther north, temperatures a little cooler there. A lot of 50s on the map as you head up into Lake and Mendocino counties. And similar temperatures will be with us again on Sunday. Few showers possible on Sunday, but those are going to be pretty few and far between. Temperatures reach back up into the mid 60s inland by Tuesday and Wednesday, which is normal for mid November, right around 60 degrees around the bay, with another chance of showers headed our way by either Thursday or Friday. I don't think both of those days are going to be wet, but it's the next decent chance of rain that we are going to see headed our way. 